Hey guys, Matt Goldberg here with an all new episode of Special Delivery. Today I got two packages in the mail. One big mystery box from Ringside Collectibles. It's a pretty big box. I'm pretty sure I know what's in here. Um, but, and then I got an awesome box from my friend Brandon, also known as All About Figures. So thank you so much, Brandon, for helping me out. I was very, very excited to get these. So we'll look at these first. It saves me the time of running around trying to find them. Thank you for wrapping them well, too. So here we have the new Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano figures from Target. Super duper excited to get these. They both look really good. Very, very nice. The Tommaso looks fantastic. And uh, yeah, just relieved I don't have to go running around the stores to find them as a lot of my stores are overstocked with the very first series, so I don't know when these will ever show up. And here's Tommaso, so he looks really good. And these are only at Target, for those of you wondering. Here's Johnny. It's a cool video of Johnny giving his figure to his parents. I don't know if you've ever seen it, I think it's on his Twitter. Uh, but it's a really cool video, you should check it out sometime. But thanks again, Brandon. Very excited to have these. Uh, they look very, very good. Can't wait to do some photos and whatnot with them. So that's that. And now the mystery box from Ringside. So let's see. Sweet! That's what I thought it was. Paper! Yeah! Just kidding. Um, I got Elite 57. As you can see here. So got Jeff Hardy. Very cool. It's nice to have. This one actually I think should have came in the uh, Epic Moments set because he kind of wrestled the match, the Mania match, more with a shirt off than a shirt on. Um, so this is like a mid-match Jeff Hardy versus the one that comes with is like their entrance coming out. Uh, but here's Jeff. He comes with a shirt. So it's very cool. And also in protectors, so thank you, Ringside. Um, I'll definitely be reviewing Jeff very soon on Wrestling Figure Wednesday. As you can see, I still have some stuff to work through, but I'll uh, make some of these figures a priority over others. Um, we got the new Seth Rollins. Looks really cool. It's very excited to get this figure after the pictures released. It looked very nice. Uh, but I really like the torch, too. It's really cool. They did a nice job on this one. We got Shinsuke Nakamura. This figure looks nice. It looks a lot like his Defining Moments figure. This wasn't on uh, the top of my list from the set of ones to get, um, but I am happy to have it, of course, so thank you. Um, but it's always nice to be current with the figures, but he looks good. And he comes with a cloth shirt, which is really nice. There's some detail in his pants. Um, if you'd like me to review Shinsuke, let me know. I wasn't originally planning to, but I know I haven't reviewed anything of him yet. Honestly, it's hard to keep up with everything coming out so fast right now. Um, there's a new Baron Corbin. Oh, this figure looks a lot better in person, honestly. I wasn't sure how I felt about his scan in the pictures, but this one looks pretty good. See how his shirt looks on him, because I wasn't thrilled with uh, how the shirt was designed to fit his body as he has that really weird cut where it kind of you know it just comes like this off his chest not like a regular sleeveless shirt so um but yeah here's a figure it comes with the money in the bank briefcase and a cloth shirt as well maybe a plastic shirt would have worked better for him since it is so tight to his body but i don't know we'll have to see if you want me to review Corbin as well, let me know. I was not planning to review him either. Um, I was really planning to review the newer people in the set, like Jeff Hardy, Scotty Duhati, and Ty Dillinger. Speaking of which, here is Scotty. This is a cool figure. This is a nice throwback to my childhood. They did a nice job on him. I hope they uh, make uh, Grandmaster Sexy as well uh, to go with him and Rikishi. And, if you didn't get Rikishi, he's coming in that new Target series, which should be out very soon. Uh, but here's Scotty. 
from Too Cool. So this is pretty cool. Comes with sunglasses and a shirt. His shirt's rubber, unfortunately. It's too bad they don't use that Bray Wyatt shirt anymore, um, but just change the colors or whatnot. And then lastly, the Perfect 10, even though his box was open up. His protector, I should say, not his box. Um, but cool. So I have Ty Dillinger's very first Elite with his funky entrance gear. So that is really cool. So here he is. Looks good. And uh, yeah, that's all for this episode of Special Delivery. Thank you again, ringsidecollectibles.com. If you guys would like to get any of these, be sure to use discount code MBG to save 10% on all of your orders. Uh, Any time on there, it uh, supports yours truly, which allows me to keep doing videos like this uh, for all of you, as well as other content that I am currently working on developing. So thanks for all your support as always, and I will see you on the next episode. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out ExtremeSense.com Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on WildTalkRadio.com.